All right, welcome back to the Colonel Does Novus Inceptio. So in the last episode, we made uh, all of our tools. So we've got our hammer, we have our axe, and we have our fishing rod. We did a little bit of fishing, and we got a couple of trout. Actually, I think... Yeah. Trout made it over into this the robot inventory. Don't know why. Um... The good thing is that when you're crafting, it'll pick from either inventory, which is great. Uh, so we're going to continue to do some foraging, and we're also going to use our axe. So we can use E now to cut down the fir tree. So what this will do is it will provide us with the tree. So it'll, it'll basically fell the tree, and it probably is going to roll down the hill. It's trying to. Alright, uh, and then we can use this to um, hack it into logs. So we can use the logs for firewood, I believe. Um, I'm sure... I'm sure that we can also use it for building materials, but we're not quite there yet. I'm not sure how to increase our strength. That's the one thing I'm not sure on yet. So let's continue hacking this until it's gone. Man. It's definitely making us hungry. Man, how many times can you hack this thing? There we go. Okay, so we also want to continue to grab some more branches, I think. So we'll grab another, I guess, ten of these. And then we'll forge for some more uh, raw stone. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Okay, and then we do some foraging. Uh, we don't have a pickaxe yet, so we can't get anything more out of the stone here. So you can you can also forage on the ground. Um, I think. Maybe you can't forge here. It might have to be in dirt. Um, let's see. Let's do one more forge here. Alright, so we're encumbered. So the help menu for the first little while will pop up contextual help. So you can also see up here we're overloaded in the top left. Uh, if we pull up our inventory, we can see we're at 45 and 50 kilograms. Um, that's fine. We are going to move a little slow. Ooh, that's a lot slow. Let's see, can we drop something? Uh, let's see, put down one. Oops. There, that's better. Okay, so we're coming back to the waterfront. Just to make life easy on ourselves. Okay, so let's uh, go to our X menu. So what we want is survival. So we want to build a campfire, and we can do that. But we need kindling. So if we go to kindling, we can autofill this. It's probably good to make five or so. You can probably max it out. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. You can certainly do that. Um, but you can set this right now to five. So craft five kindling. We only need one to create the campfire. Uh, so we need one kindling and five stone, which we have. You could also do a basic campfire, but I figure if you're going to do a campfire, you might as well do a campfire. Alright, last one. Okay, so campfire fire is created. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Our kindling is created. Now we can create our campfire. 
And we're going to need extra kindling because we're going to need it to start the fire. Alright, so close that. And let's see, where did the fire go? Probably went into our robot. There it is. Okay, so let's uh, place it. There we go. Alright, so now when you hover over it, you have a context menu that lets you repair it, which I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, G is... we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, F is to destroy it, and E is to consume any kindling. So, if we set E, starts the fire, okay? So now you've got H and you've got G. So, H is to burn, G is to craft. So, we want to um, first set H. So, what it tells us here is that we've just started the fire, and we've got 2 minutes and 40 seconds left on the fire. So, if we open up our inventory, and we open up our robot inventory, there we go. So, we've got 5 logs, right? So, if we move those 5 logs... into here. Now we've got 29 minutes of campfire left. I don't know why it puts them down here, but it does. So we've got now all of our logs are here. We've got 30 minutes of campfire left. So now that's good. So now we want to craft. So if we want to cook our fish, so we've got two uncooked. So if we go over here and click on G or hit G, so that brings up a crafting menu for cooking or smelting. So you can either smelt ingots, um, you know, or raw ore, or you can cook stuff. So what we have, we have either roast or we have cooked meat. I don't know if there's a difference at the moment between these two. So if you uh, do like roast meat or roast fish or whatever, uh, or if you just cook it. If there's a difference between, you know, how much you get out of it. Um, I know that our skill is less with the roasting than it is with the cooking. Uh, so for cooked meat, we need one... Um, we need water and we need two of the meat. So we have two of the fish. For the roasting, <clears throat> we need herbs. Um, I don't know if we... I don't think we foraged for any... Oh, we did! Okay, so we have two herbs and we have one fish. So, let's see, let's craft this. I think we might have to fish for a couple more of the trout. Okay, so now we have cooked meat. So let's close this. Let's go back over to the water. <clears throat> and use our fishing rod by hitting three for fish. There we go. So now we have two trout. And we have five water on us already. So let's go to our crafting menu here. So let's use our cooked meat. It requires two meat and one water. Uh, requires fire, obviously. Okay, so we've done that. So now we've got cooked meat, and a basic dish of meat and water one can eat or take advantage of complicated dish. Not sure what that means. This one looks like it's almost the exact same. It's worth a little more. It's a basic dish of meat, just meat and a few herbs. So I guess maybe the cooked meat you can use in more complex recipes, but the roast meat you can't. So we can uh, consume this. Look at that, 63 to 88. So that's, uh, what, 25? 25%? And I'm not, I'm not going to eat this one because that'll probably blow us up. So, um, yeah, so that's really how you stay, you survive, I think, your first night. Um, you're going to find that when the night, uh, if you fish at night, you're going to find that in the top left there, it's going to show that it's getting cold. Um, oh. We got roof corner blueprint. So you can find all sorts of weird stuff in the water when you're fishing. Um, sometimes you'll find bones. Sometimes you'll find other stuff. Oh, it looks like it's raining. There's some algae. Man, what is it with games in the thunder? <laughs> it's always loud. 
Um, I'm not sure. I think the algae you can use for making your own. Don't quote me on that though. Alright. Oh, man. That's, that's a bright sun. So yeah, we can, if we do get cold, we can come over and stand by the fire and we'll get warm. Uh, so we can uh, craft some more. We can do our roast meat. Or we can do cooked meat. It's probably going to be easier to do the cooked meat because we have uh, the water. So we can max that out. Uh, and if we need more water, we can just go back and forage. Not a big deal. out of fish too. So yeah, that's uh, really how I feed myself. Oh my lord. It's enough with the... Where's the options? Ambient. Nope, not the sound. Ambient. Not the sound. Are you kidding me? I can't control the thunder sound? That's insane. Anyway, <laughs> we're done with that. Um, I'm going to probably extinguish the fire here. I'm going to leave the fire there. Uh, I'm going to run back up here and seek shelter. Pull the storm's over, I think. Uh, and start trying to figure out my inventory. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, this is really the end of... Our first day, at least for me anyway, um, you know, just kind of getting things situated, uh, first day playing the game, f figuring out how to craft stuff, uh, get the fire going so you can cook your food, uh, get your food situated and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think this is a pretty good start, and then we can uh, figure out where to go from here. So... Again, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And until next episode, please do take care.